Here on Zoom TV, we love a good car enthusiast. I'm now joined by Steve Boyle, the owner of this 1972 125T Fiat. How are you doing, Steve? Yeah, good, good. Mate, I love your car. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, I, I came by this car about four years ago. Um, it's actually a quite a historic car from New Zealand. They, uh, this model here, they made 86 of them to go production racing and uh, never quite got the 200 homologated, so they only got the 86 made. There's two in Australia, one here in Perth, one in Queensland. And I get the car out to historic motorsport events and pretty much enter it in anything they'll have me in. So the important question, Steve, what's under the bonnet? The under here we've got its original um, double overhead cam 1600, which is quite advanced specification for 1972 with a pair of uh, twin choke Webers and uh, they're a great little engine. And what, what's unique about it? Oh, they just they just love to rev. This was one of the first, or well, the first mass produced engine that had a tooth belt drive in the, the camshafts. Like, you know, that was in 67 it came out, so. And what kind of horsepower are you getting out of it? Um, this one's making them pretty much right on about 150 at the moment. Which for a little four is pretty Yeah, impressive. which it makes max power at seven grand too. The car is today exactly as it was um, in 1972. Now recently I saw that you took part, you actually didn't compete but you took part, you got to drive the Fiat on the same track as the uh, Targa West. Yeah, we ran a sprint, um, the VSCC ran a sprint for um, on the same stage as the city stage for the Targa West and um, we got to get out and trash it along Riverside Drive and it was a heap of fun. And how does she feel? It goes, stops and handles and it's a lot of fun, makes a great noise. 